wood is one of the most useful things on the planet, and people throw it out all the time. But on Alley Picked, we make cool stuff from what other people throw out. One of the reasons I love to build things is to solve a problem. And the problem we want to solve today is when you jump up on the toilet to wash your hands at the sink, but then you leave footprints all over the toilet, right? You wouldn't do that, would you? No. Ah, yes you do. So we're gonna build a <laughs> we're gonna build a step stool that converts into a chair. Cool, huh? Yeah. All right. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. I found this clean white pine wood in the alley that's in really good shape. It'll be great to use for our combination step stool and kids chair. I found this image online that would serve as my starting design. I then took a piece of cardboard and drew out a design which I'm hoping is going to work. This is a cool little project you can build in a couple of hours using some basic tools like a jigsaw, sander, and not much else. If you decide to stain it, be sure to take the extra time and elbow grease to sand it smooth to get rid of all the scratches. I clamped the two end pieces together and sanded the edges to get them exactly even. So here's what we've got so far. I've got the two sides, the top with the handle. One piece is gonna go here, one piece is gonna go right there. Now if you wanted to, you could drill holes in the sides, but then you're gonna see the screw heads here. So we're gonna use a pocket hole jig and we're gonna hide the screws underneath. Now for those of you who have never used a pocket hole jig, it's really pretty simple. It has two holes and a special drill bit. The drill bit will get drilled like so and has an automatic stop. In the metal you see here, this is only the part that gets drilled into the wood. So let's see how it works. I'm using a scrap piece of wood. Simply place the pocket jig on the end. It will automatically stop. Take a clamp. That'll hold it in place. It automatically stops right there. Pull it out. And there you have it. So what happens is our screw will get inserted into this hole and it will remain hidden on the underside of the stool. It's really pretty cool.
So here we've got our bench or our little chair. Flip it up and we've got our step stool. The only thing missing now is the front piece. So I cut this for the front. Let's put that on right now. I also drilled on the top, you notice, the three and a half inch size hole. You can use that for just about anything. You can drill it smaller if you want. You can use it for a cup, container full of pens or markers, and even put a cup of cereal for the kids to snack on. The best part of any project for me is the finish. The worst part of any project is the cleanup. So we have to figure out what we want to put on top of the wood to preserve it. Often I use stain and polyurethane. However, whenever I use stain on pine, I'm really never satisfied with the results. No matter how hard I try to sand it and get all the scratches out, I just don't really like the way that dark stain looks on pine wood. So then I thought about using some linseed oil and that would work fine too. But on my shelf, I had this old wipe-on poly. I need to get rid of it, so we're gonna put it on this. So I've got these hard rubber feet we're going to use for the bottoms, both this way and this way. After letting it dry overnight, we're ready to put it to use. So there we have it, our combination chair and two-step step stool. Thanks for watching Alley Pick. I hope you liked it. Please give the video a thumbs up and subscribe to Alley Picked. We'll see you next time. Cool, huh?